Have you guys ever thought about what your passion is or what your calling is in life? Have you ever tried to figure that out but you just don't know how? Well, I have the five tips for you to narrow it down to what it could be. So if you'd like to know what that is, just keep on watching. Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to like and subscribe, but I post every single Sunday and I love to do any type of inspirational videos or makeup videos, beauty related, whichever they might be. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about your passion and how to know what that is or just how to figure it out in your life what that in the world could be because I think it is so important and a lot of times we try to figure out what our passions are in life or what our calling is and a lot of times we just don't know but I feel like it is pretty obvious to a lot of people we just don't really care to go for it we sometimes think that the things that we like are just our hobbies but a lot of times that could be your calling in life so if you'd like to know what that is stay tuned and listen till the end. I will give you five practical steps to trying to figure out if you guys have that passion or if you just have to figure out what it is and we don't ever put our thought into what that could be. So the number one thing is what do you love to do? There could be a lot of things that we love to do on a daily basis that's just something that we enjoy but what is it that you really love to do on your quiet time something that you are really passionate about something that you always go back to doing without even thinking and realizing that you're doing that one thing for some people it could be writing for some it could be helping out for some it could just be loving to teach or have a leadership skill second thing is what comes easy to you normally our passions and our calling i think god has put something in our hearts that when he said it in there it's gonna be that one thing that comes really easy to you you don't have to think about how to do it or in which ways to do it you will just do it because it just naturally part of you it will come super easy to you you don't have to think about how to do it you don't even almost have to have the knowledge of how to do it you just know out of nowhere you just know how to do it without anybody teaching you without anybody telling you it's just part of who you are as a person and it is part of your calling third thing no one ever makes you do it. Our passions and our desires, a lot of times, no one will come and knock on the door and be like, hey, you have to do this. It is something that you love to do already. It is something that you set your time apart because it is important to you and you will do it without anyone telling you you have to do it. To me, one of the things that I love to do and one of my passions I feel like it's kind of hard for me to figure out what that really is because there are so many things that I enjoy, so many things that I love to do. Like for example, I love writing and I've written a few books. I can put down below what they are and where to find them, but writing is always and has always been one of my passions that I love to do. And all of those things that I just said about no one makes you do it. It's something that I enjoy. No one can ever stop me from doing it. I just know how it works is writing. It is one of my passions. It is something that I love to do and I've written a few books and I love it. I think it's just something that kind of roots me even deeper into who I am as a person and who I am in the God and it's just really grown me as who I am. So that is one of my things. One other thing is one of your passions, even if it's work, it'll never feel like work because it's something that you enjoy so much that even if you are doing it as a job, it'll never feel like it's a job. To me, also what I love is beauty and anything that has to do with beauty related. I love doing hair and makeup and just hair color and all of that. And when I go to work, it, it's sort of like work because obviously I get paid for it but it doesn't feel like work because I enjoy doing what I love and I just enjoy using my creativity and being who I am and just being in that sphere and developing my skills and in developing what I love to do so to me I love being in the beauty industry it gets obviously gets me paid but 
at the same time, I don't always feel like it's work. I go and I enjoy it and I love what I do. I know for sure that a lot of you that have a passion, that have a calling, it will be enjoyable to you and even if you do it as a job, it won't feel like a job because you enjoy it that much and that's what's important and that is how to know how to figure that out. And the final thing about knowing what your calling is, is if you don't get paid for it, you would still do it. A lot of times our passions and that is tied to our calling and what we were meant to do in this life is given to us so that it is part of us. It is part of who you are and no one will be able to do it as good as you will. When it is something that's part of us, we know the ins and outs, we know how to get it done faster, we have the creativity, we have the imagination to be able to do it exactly how it needs to be. And nobody will be able to do it as good as you are. The more we develop in our passions, the more we develop in our calling, it will grow and it will really create us as a person that we were meant to be. I would encourage you guys that if you don't know what your passions are, if you have been searching or if you have been wanting to figure out what your calling is, look at what you love to do. What is it that you would set your time apart? What is it that you would do when no one's telling you how to do it? Or that one thing that you just enjoy doing every single day or just every week or whenever. For me, I don't always do my writing as much as I love to because it just it is very time consuming. But at the same time, I enjoy it so much and I would do it even if I don't get paid for it. Now, I don't necessarily make that much money from making and writing books, but I would still do it because it develops me as a person and as who I am and I just get to know even more information on whatever I'm writing about. So I really hope that five of these tips has helped you and kind of opened up a little bit something of how you can figure out if there is a passion that you have. And I know that every single person has a passion and every single person has a calling on their life and you will get to figure that out if you just search and really figure out what is it that you love to do and what you're passionate about because I know that everyone has that. There isn't one single person on this earth that doesn't have a passion. We all have something that we enjoy to do and it doesn't have to be something big. Sometimes it just could be helping out people or just speaking a words of encouragement into their life. Like it doesn't have to be anything huge. It doesn't ever have to be something that you will get paid for, but I feel like it's important to be developed in that part in your life and just really know what that is because it just makes your life so much more enjoyable. I just know that it is important for every single person to know what that is and I know most people do try to figure out what that is in their life because it makes them feel like they have a purpose in life. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! No, no, I give you a no, 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 no,